Well, it began as a home invasion where a homeowner shot and killed a man breaking into his home. But we've now learned that there was an accomplice in that break in. And it's the accomplice who's now being charged with murder. Our Nico Payne is live in Desert Hot Springs to sort it all out. All out. Nico. That's right, Gina. When we first reported on this case, we knew a resident from inside the home had opened fire on an intruder and killed him. And now we're learning that intruder had an accomplice who police say fled the scene, but is being held responsible for his partner's death. We're best friends with our neighbors, all of them. And, and stuff doesn't happen like that, at least not in this neighborhood. Down, down the road, yeah. Neighbors say they're shocked, not just because someone was killed, but because someone who did not pull the trigger is being charged. It's called the felony murder rule, a rarely used California law. You don't usually hear about, you know, two suspects or two, two subjects involved in a crime and one of them dies and the other one gets charged with it. The home invasion happened November 18th. Two men entered the home on Hacienda Heights Drive. Then one was shot and killed by the homeowner. Those two individuals, one of them is the deceased that was at the scene that was shot by the resident uh, of, that, of that house. The second uh, individual was uh, uh, Nathan Alger. And now Alger is being charged with the death of his accomplice. The individual that did die at the scene, he, they, uh, that was from a resident that lived in the, in the house there. But California law does allow um, that if you have a felony that's being taken place and there's more than one participant in that felony or even just an individual and there's a death as a result of that even though it, that death could be one of the suspects and it could be at the hands of um, the other suspect or, or a private citizen um, then that individual can be charged And we did reach out to the district attorney's office. They are not commenting on this case as it is still active. Alger is expected to be arraigned in Superior, Riverside County Superior Court tomorrow. Reporting in Desert Hot Springs, Nico Payne, NBC Palm Springs.